हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल जर्मन टॉक्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द ग्रामर पार्ट ऑफ नेट्स वेक नॉय ऑफ ई टू एंड दिस इज द ग्रामर पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर वन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ग्रामर पार्ट बिकॉज देर आर मैनी पार्ट्स ऑफ दिस वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू टूडे इज इट्स द कनेक्टर्स सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द फर्स्ट कनेक्टर विच इज गिवेन इन नेट्स वेक नॉय चैप्टर नंबर वन ऑफ ई टू so this this is the first connector which means while first of all we are going to see the meaning the meaning of this while is because in day to day life we use because in english language so that's why now in a2 it is very important that how we are going to use this because in german language now before this first you need to understand the two words first is hauptsatz and second is nebensatz The first one is Hauptsatz and the second one is Nebensatz. Now, whenever, for example, in further lectures, when I am going to say Hauptsatz, means the first sentence which we are going, which we are tell, uh, talking about. Hauptsatz means main sentence, main sentence, and Nebensatz means second sentence or uh, next sentence. For example, in further when some more connectors will come, and if I am going to say this is the this will come in Hauptsatz, then th that we, uh, we are going to talking about main sentence, and if I am going to talk about Nebensatz, that means we are going to talk we are talking about the second sentence. So these two words you you need to remember. Okay, so you can note it down. How we are going to use this while we are going to say this in a sentence. So we are having this sentence. We are in Glücklich while as heute nicht. regnet in english we are going to see we are happy because it is not raining today what we are, what we used because we are happy because it is not raining today but now we are going to see how we are going to use this in a german language before this what we are doing we are just doing this part in a1 now in a2 what we are doing we are first of all we are introducing one connector and then we are forming a second sentence so now you are forming a complete two sentence so this additional thing we are learning in a2 so first thing is clear that okay while is there which means because now the only thing which you need to remember in german language with connectors is the position of verb now if you are following my lectures one thing i request you to do like in a plain page like this what you need to do you just need to write here connector number 1 and then you need to write here while then the meaning for example because and then here you are going to write the verb position and then if you required you can also write it here uh german and then english so for example if today we are in this chapter we are going to see the connector while so you wrote here the meaning because now whatever i am going to tell you the verb position you are going to write it here and then the english meaning of that you are going to write it here for example from here example you can write and also the english meaning so this you need to do because in upcoming chapters we are going to see more connectors like this so that in a one complete page you are going to have uh, each and every connectors and by looking at that you can see okay the verb position is okay so this you need to do by your own we are in glücklich okay till this here i have no problem because this we did in a1 how we use wear subject and we conjugated sein according to subject wear so this one is and this is glücklich happy so till here there is no problem now i need to use because okay so i had used my connector because now connectors will always come after comma if you are going to use in a nebensatz so we used comma and then while now what we did in even i told you the verb position is in second position 
can you see here the verb position where is verb here in this sentence the verb is this regnet regnet regen means to rain so we conjugated it according to s this one so one thing you need to remember that in while if you are going to use the verb the verb will go at the end of the sentence so what i told you in the table so you will write their verb position at the end verb position so again we will see this sentence one more time we as in clearly still here it is clear then comma then i used while connector and then as i said in connector while we are going to put our verb at the end of the sentence while as heute nicht regnet so we are happy because it is not raining today i gave because why when we use because when we going to give the reason so we are happy why we are happy because it is not raining today so while as heute nicht regnet so again this is a verb and it is conjugated according to s and it goes at the end of the sentence like this so we as in glücklich while as heute nicht regnet so again i am going to repeat we as in glücklich while as heute nicht regnet so we are happy because it is not raining today so the main thing whenever you are going to use the connector you just need to see the position of verb and you need to conjugate it according to subject in the case of while i am we are just discussing right now about while now we will see the second example this is the first one second one er get nizu arbeit while er krank ist he isn't he is not going to work because he is sick this one we already did in even this part we already did in even so there is no confusion in this now again we are using comma and then we are writing y now as per even we need to write on second position verb is er krank yes but right now we are using y as a connector so that's why we cannot use ist here so ist will come at the end and also we conjugated it according to our subject so why if we had put here then our sub, uh, verb will go at the end and we conjugated it according to our subject like this so it's very easy connector you don't need to do anything just the verb position i hope the basic is clear so example number 1 can we use while at first position here i told you that after comma we are going to use while but we can also make sentences because we can also use in in first position like in english here because it goes faster i prefer to go by subway we can also uh, write like this or we usually say in english like this also so now we are going to see this sentence concept will remain going to same that if we are going to use while the verb will go at the end first thing so if i want to use while at the first position for example i want to say because it goes faster so while as schneller geht again this is my verb gehen and it conjugated according to s but still i am going to use my verb at the end of the sentence because it goes faster now now one more thing will going to come that after comma now your verb will come fahre ich lieber mit der u-bahn for example here if we are going to use simple sentence this one is simply a1 part you don't need to think any anything and after comma while and then if we are going to use the verb then verb will go at the end of the sentence this part is clear now we are discussing that if for example if we are going to use while at first position for example i am having this sentence so my verb will come at the end of the sentence then we are going to use comma and after comma now my verb will come of second sentence in a conjugated form then your subject will come and then rest of the sentence this only we did it here while as schneller gate this this part with 
we wrote here and then after comma after comma your verb will come then subject and then rest of the sentence so fare ish lieber mit der u-bahn so that's why i told you that when you are going to make that table you can write here german sentence english sentence and also some sentences which i'm telling you that while after comma while at first position and where are the their verb positions and all okay so now we are going to see the second sentence now one more doubt you can ask about perfect that what if i am going to use the perfect sentence with a while connector so we are going to see now that one for example i want to write like this i am tired because i haven't sleep enough so till here again it is very easy even ich bin müde i am tired so till here no problem now i need to use because so i had used because now here there are two verbs okay helping verb and then main verb which we are going to use in a sentence so again this is in a perfect form now we are going to use so ich bin müde weil ich weil ich nicht genug geschlafen for example if i have not used here while and i want to use simply this sentence so how i am going to use ich habe nicht genug ge schlafen this we did in chapter number 7 of a1 nets week okay so what we did there again on second place haben and haben or sein so we used here habe and then a perfect verb at the end of the sentence this one now if i am going to use while now if i am going to use the connector while then what will going to happen of these two verbs there are two verbs here one and then second this part we are discussing in this example so if you are going to use a perfect sentence with while you don't need to do anything just just this habe will go at the end of the sentence here and rest of the sentence will going to remain the same now you can see if i am going to have this while here what i did same sentence just whatever we we, we wrote here habe we just put here at the end of the sentence and this geschlafen will be remain here only so at the and we can say like this if we are going to use the while connector all our verbs whether it is perfect or whether it is helping verb this all verb will go at the end of the sentence okay so this is the first doubt that if you are going to use while at the first position what will going to happen similarly this will go at the here at the end of the sentence and after comma our, our next verb will going to come second doubt what if i am going to use the perfect sentence so in perfect sentence again this will remain same even part then comma while and if you are having in a sentence perfect form then same uh, like this and then what in a simple sentence what we are using here habe that will go at the end of the sentence okay so this one the all our second doubt now let's see one more example we have no money because we have no work we are haben keine geld weil wir keine arbeit haben again easy this part even while and what i told you verb at the end of the sentence so here at the end of the sentence haben because we are so while we are keine arbeit haben okay because we again have will come here in german language no work so we have no work so a uh, haben will come at the end of the sentence easy we can also write this sentence again same while putting this while at first position let's see while we are keine arbeit haben because we have no work haben we are keine geld so we can also write uh, write like this also like we i have not done anything i just put this one right now it is on second position then this one is first this two part we can also say this one is right now first and this one is second but i i can also say like this because we have no work we have no money so what we did here 
we have no money because we have no work and what i can also say like this also because we have no work so we have no money so same like this so while connector subject and if we while is having so verb will go at the end of the sentence so while we are kind or by haban and then comma and after comma i told you haban will come same like this here this part that after comma verb will come again here after comma verb will come that comma haban we are kind gave so i i gave you the examples so it was just a revision a small uh, revision of connector while when we are going to see in course book and arbeit book of netzwerk noy of a2 all your doubts will going to get more clear because there we are practicing okay so right now it's just a, a revision of grammar part of while still if you have any doubt please let me know in the comments and if you want this book netzwerk noy book uh, message me on my instagram okay so that's all for today Auf Wiedersehen. Ciao, ciao.